In this video, I'll show you a few tricks that may help you fix the Wi-Fi problem that you're having with your Epson printer. This works with many models, so let's get started right away. So the first solution is the simplest one you should try. It's to unplug your Epson printer from the wall socket. Then you have to wait about a minute. Don't touch anything, just wait, be patient and then plug it back in the wall socket and see if you can print after doing this. Now, if this solution didn't work, don't worry, I have another one. It's to do the same exact thing, but this time with your Wi-Fi router. So just unplug it, wait a minute, and then plug it back in. Things should be back on track, but if not, I have a third solution. So this apply if you change your Wi-Fi password or your internet provider recently. If you've done one of these, then you'll need to completely reconnect your printer to your computer or to your phone from the start. You need to restart the pairing process. Some printers have two networks for the same router. Sometimes it's a guest, uh, the other one is the main network, or sometimes like uh, in the video you're seeing, there is a 2.4 gigahertz and a five uh, gigahertz. Just make sure that the printer and your computer or uh, whatever device you're using are connected on the same one, and it should be the main uh, network. If these didn't work, the fifth solution is to reset your Wi-Fi settings of your Epson printer completely. If you don't know how this can be done, you can just type reset Wi-Fi settings with the Epson model name of your printer on Google and you'll find easily the process to do it. And here are some extra tips if again nothing work at this point. Well, the first one is just to confirm that your mobile device is connected to the same internet network. I know sometimes it auto connect, so it's better to connect manually. So go in the settings and click on the network of your home or office that your printer is connected. Then make sure that the firmware of your mobile device or tablet, PC, whatever, is up to date. This is very important. Sometimes it's as simple as this uh, and you'll be able to print once is updated. And finally, if nothing works, I suggest that you manually assign an IP address to the printer itself. Just type on Google or even YouTube static IP address and then Epson and your model name of uh, your printer. I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. And in a few minutes, this could solve your problem. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If it was, please leave a like. If not, well, still leave a like. And type a comment down below if you want to share other tips that may help other users fixing their Epson printer. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.